And just like that, Saudi Arabia is going to be home of a major manufacturer of electric passenger vehicles. This week, the Lucid Group, in which the Saudi Public Investment Fund has a better than 60% stake, announced agreements with the Ministry of Investment, the Saudi Industrial Development Fund, and the King Abdullah Economic City to build a full production factory in Saudi Arabia. Construction of the plant is expected to start in the first half of this year. Initially, the plant will reassemble Lucid Air vehicle kits that are pre-manufactured at the company's primary manufacturing facility in Casa Grande, Arizona. Over time, though, the Saudi plant will build complete vehicles with a target peak capacity of 150,000 vehicles per year. Uh, vehicles in the initial phase will be slated for the market in Saudi Arabia, which we know is very large. Uh, but Lucid will also plan to uh, f export finished vehicles to other global markets, including exclusive models, Lucid, designed to appeal to Lucid customers in the region and beyond. We want to be Lucid customers, so we'll, we'll try and get a design feature in. With a lease extending to 2047, this is a big win for Amar, the economic city, which is the master planner of King Abdullah Economic City. The estimate from Lucid Group Management is that the location may result in up to a 3.4 billion increase of value to Lucid over 15 years. Correction, Richard, we don't want to be customers. We want to be paid spokesmen, and we want to be compensated in a Lucid <laughs> car. But yes, this is really, really cool news and very interesting just to sort of look at it as a whole and see Saudi Arabia as home of uh, electric vehicle producer. David, feel free to weigh in. <laughs> Well, I, I, I took a group of Saudis to Tesla to test the self-driving Tesla a few years ago. And, um, you know, they were clearly into it. Um, uh, you know, S Saudi Arabia obviously uh, has tremendous potential for alternate energy. Um, to the extent that uh, every barrel of oil that Saudi pumps can be turned into chemical feedstocks or, you know, down chain, that's, that's a win. And... Uh, you know, I mean, it makes sense. They were clearly interested in, they're interested in being on the cutting edge of something and not just being the, um, you know, consumers, the global consumers. That's a good point. We've done a segment on autom automotive industry and, and it arcs back decades because it's always been mm -hmm. a, 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 an important goal for them. But it, this is one of the advantages of being in Saudi Arabia's position where you don't have a legacy industry to, to worry about. They don't have an internal combustion engine production line. You know, Toyota never came through with it. Ni Nissan never came through with it. They can, and so this this has happened so quickly. I mean, what, they they first uh, invested in Lucid in what 2018. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and, and so it's 2022, and Lucid is building a major electric vehicle manufacturer is building a plant in Saudi Arabia, just skipping the whole internal combustion, just moving straight to electric vehicles. It's it's it's. Uh, it's a tremendous thing for Saudi Arabia, I think, because it's just interesting. You know, they've always had this goal. I, uh, four years ago, they had never imagined it would be an electric, electric vehicle. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, good for them for thinking quickly on their feet. And, and as you say, Dave, moving forward on the technological front to, to stay at the front. Mm -hmm. And Richard, you mentioned this, I believe, um, but they're also rolling out a new car, a SUV. Is that correct? They are. You mean uh, Lucid, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lucid and that, that should hit in a few years. But they will deliver the Lucid Air later this year, which looks super awesome. Um, I, will, I will say this, because, uh, Dave, you've mentioned this before. Sorry to interrupt, Lucian. No, please. Uh, you know, Rawlinson, the, the chief engineer and the guy who basically is, is spearheaded and runs um, Lucid, is a detail guy. He, he, you know, he's watched Tesla and all the, all the, you know, you know, I don't think consumer reports in this last auto uh, rundown didn't even rate Tesla because they're so poorly rated. Yeah, there's too many, too many problems. And I think Rawlinson is very committed to making sure that this vehicle when it comes out is going to work well and be reliable. They did call it the car of the year, right? The Lucid Air that that's forthcoming. Hmm. Is that is that right? Yeah, it, it got my vote. Well, we're we're you know we're a little biased because we will soon be in receipt of our lucid errors, I'm sure. 